Hi, FlossTube. Happy 2018 or 2018, as my girlfriend likes to say. And I think it's an awesome saying. I'm definitely going to be saying that a lot this year. Um, I hope you guys had a really Merry Christmas. I had a great, great holiday season. We went as a family to Frankenmuth. Um, I think I mentioned that in my last floss tube, and we had so much fun. The kids saw Santa. We went to Zender's All You Can Eat Chicken Dinner, and we all sat around a table. Great big family, and I just felt extremely grateful this holiday season that we were all together. Um, we had our annual family cookie day, um, and we made Christmas cutout cookies, and my mom made almond crescents, and... Yeah, we made probably three or four kinds, I think, and exchanged cookies. So I ate way too many cookies. My pants are way too tight. Um, <laughs> part of the 2018 goals. But uh, yeah, we had such a good time. It was so much fun. And then um, let's see what else. So at Frankenmuth, I did get my special ornament, but I had a tree mishap um, this year. I came home from work one day and my Christmas tree was on the ground. Um, the dogs didn't look guilty, but you never know. Um, so I can't show you that, but then I also found the 12 Days of Christmas Coffee, which was a huge hit for me. Um, on my vacation days, I'd wake up and make a pot of Christmas coffee, and there was like Santa s'mores and Comet's caramel, and it was so delicious. It was so delicious. So I enjoyed that, and then I got a bunch of new mugs, some from my family, ah, some from Bronner's. Cindy, I know you're loving this because you're a Snoopy fan like me. Um, so I've been enjoying those, and then me and the dogs got ourselves a electric blanket. <sighs> Love it. It is like negative 756 degrees in Michigan, I swear. Um, it is so cold. My feet are freezing morning, noon, and night, and so I got this electric blanket on Amazon. It was a really good price. It was only like 60 bucks, and um, it's funny because like it's the weekend today, and I just... I have it on in the other room and both dogs just zonk out on it, like go catatonic. <laughs> I can't even get them off the couch. But um, it's perfect for stitching. Um, we've been binge watching The Crown. Um, if you haven't seen that on Netflix, what a good show. It's all about the queen. Um, and I have so much respect for the queen now. What that woman went through, I had no idea. Um, no idea what she was dealing with walking in her shoes. So that's a great series. Um, Two seasons are out. The third one is not out yet, but loved that, loved that. Um, Stranger Things, if you're into a little bit of sci-fi kind of thriller movies, um, that was great. Two seasons and that was great. I watched that a ton. And then I've just started watching, and I know Abby will love this, um, but I just started watching all of the Harry Potter movies. So I had seen like one or two like ages ago when they first came out, but I never watched the whole series. So... I'm really enjoying it. I watched number one last night, The Sorcerer's Stone, and I really enjoyed it. It was very cool. So I'm going to be doing that while I'm doing my stitching. So Happy New Year, and um, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by to spend some of your time with me. Time is precious, and I appreciate it. Um, I love to talk about my stitching. I love watching you guys and your videos. Thank you for doing your videos, and please keep your videos up because I'm watching those all the time if I'm you know, sitting and stitching or having a cup of coffee or on my lunch break. I'm, I'm constantly watching your videos and I get so inspired by you guys. Probably 90% of the things I do are because I saw you guys do it and it's so inspiring and I absolutely love it. So please keep that up. Um, some other life updates. Um, so watching The Crown inspired me along with Top Knot Stitcher Abby who had put out a call for, does anyone want a pen pal? Um, and it reminded me of when I was in school, when I was in elementary school, I had a pen pal and I can't even remember from where it was so long ago. I'm 40 years old, it was so long ago. But, um, so I thought Abby had such a great idea. That is such a great idea. So I went on to Global Pen Pals and I found a pen pal. And she's in the UK um, and her name's Kirsty, and that's all I'll tell you, but uh, we exchanged emails and information, and then I went out, I don't know if you can see this, and I got new stationery and stickers and a little mail caddy, and um, I'm so excited because I wrote her my first pen pal letter, and I had to like Google how many stamps do you put on something from Michigan to the UK, because I had absolutely no idea. But there's something very, very 
traditional and I don't, know, I don't know how to describe it. Traditional and fun and like a really deep type of friendship thing when you actually sit down and write a letter. Like you actually sit with a pen and paper and write a letter. So I'm really excited about that. So I had another lady contact me from Germany who wants to be a pen pal too. So I just think it's such a fun idea. It's such a fun idea. And then I'm pen pals with Abby, so I can't wait. Um, until we start communicating, but yeah, I think it's such a fun thing to do and I know a lot of people in the stitching community do it I know Michelle um, Bendy stitchy. She's constantly sending out um, giveaways and Sending things to people so I just think that's so awesome and I want to definitely do more of that in 2018 for sure. So that's on the list um, Bullet journaling that um, a couple of my girlfriends at work do that Um Abby, again, she's one that does the bullet journals. I've always just done a traditional journal, but I started doing more of that this year. So I wrote my 2018 journal out, and it's, of course, got all, you know, we all have goals in our lives. We have health goals and financial goals and maybe spiritual goals or, or projects you want to get done. So I, I did my big personal 2018 journal, and I'm going month by month. Um, but I also did a cross-stitch journal, which I think is a really cool thing. And so I'm going to show you guys that. Um, but yeah, I made myself a little cross-stitch journal. And in the back, which was kind of cool, and it's going to show you a little bit of a shopping problem. Don't judge. <laughs> but as I watch your videos, you guys always, even Instagram too, videos and the Instagram, you guys always have great new patterns. Or like you went to your local shop and you found this new thread or this or that. And I'm constantly getting ideas from you guys. And so I write them down on my little wish list here. Um, and then as I order them, I check them off. And then as I receive them from wherever I ordered them from, I check them off. So there's a couple pages long of stuff that's on my wish list. But what I found in doing this process is that I get really ADD. And I want to stitch everything. And there's not enough time. And then, like, well, what should I do? Should I do this one? Should I do that one? So I did another section of this. And this is going to be my personal thing for 2018. And I called it... New year number of finishes. So the new year number is 2018. So I'm committing to do 18 pieces that I really want to complete. So I know I will get sidetracked and see sales and, and order other things and maybe start other things, which is fine. I can do all that. But these 18 are the ones to commemorate 2018 that I really want to complete this year. So I'm not gonna go as far as say fully finish because I am a slow fully finisher, but finish stitching. So I made a list and this is my little new year number to finish 2018. And I'm gonna go through these with you guys. I don't have the list completed yet. I still have room for like three more that I wanna add to this. But these are what I have so far. And some of them I've ordered, some of them I still have to order, um, so I printed out little pictures of them online to show you guys, but I like this idea for me because definitely when, especially for me, I'm a new stitcher and I haven't been stitching for years, I just, I see all these things I want to do and start and I'm like, oh, well, should I work on that? Should I work on this? At least now I've got a goal and I'm going to hashtag it on my Instagram for new year number of finishes 2018 so that next year or in 2025 I can go back and look at these are the 18 I did for 2018 these are the 19 I did for 2019 and I think that's going to be a good goal for me personally um, to kind of just focus me into making sure I complete the ones I'm really passionate about so first one I know you guys have all seen this one so many people have done this one but I'm excited about it and I tried to pick in this list I should say too so there are some that are smalls um, some that are medium and then what I consider big projects. So I picked two big projects um, that I plan to work on throughout the year. And then I picked a bunch of smalls because those will be like satisfying finishes for me in between that because um, I'm one of those people. Like I need to have a finish. I need to see something started and completed without it taking forever. Like you guys who do Mirabilia's or Nora Corbett or, um, oh, what's the other? I can't remember the other one. I want to say heart. It's not heart and hand. I can't remember the other one. But um, you guys that do those, I have so much mad respect for you. I am just amazed when I see you guys post your pictures and there's like 75 threads coming off all in like curled into a thing and you've got like 75 threads working at the same time. 
or they take so long to finish, I just, wow, wow. I am so impressed with you guys. Um, Cindy Stitches, hey Cindy. I watched her video this morning and she's starting a dimensions kit. It's like chickadees and lavender. Wow, holy cow, There, it, that would take me 10 years of my life to finish, <laughs> honestly. I'm so excited to see you finish it because I know you will. I know you will finish it. But for me, that is so daunting. And um, yeah, you guys, you really do some amazing pieces. Um, Lisa at the Kindred Stitcher, um, she's another one that I just watched. And some of your pieces are so amazing and so large. Like, I can't even imagine doing a piece that big. Maybe someday, maybe someday, but we're starting with small goals for 2018. So this is what I consider my big project for 2018, and it's Christmas Rules by Lizzie Kate. So um, you've probably all heard it all before, but in case you haven't, so the topper is free. This part up here is on her website, and it's free. And then there are 12 blocks down below that you buy um, the pattern for. You buy the card, and there's six cards. So each card has two, two of the blocks on it. So um, I saw Priscilla finish this. It's gorgeous. Everything Priscilla does is gorgeous. But I just love, 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 love this. I love the sayings in it. I think like even it's really, really cute, but some of the sayings are really important to remember, like the sheet that says, keep the schedule light. That's such a good lesson to remember because the holidays are crazy and you can run around and like lose sight of the things that really matter, right? Just keep the schedule light. So I thought this was really cool. This is something I've been eyeballing for a long time. So that's going to be one of my big projects this year. Um, the other one, and I didn't bring it in here, is... Let me pause it and I'll go grab it. Hold on one second. Whew, just like that and I'm back. So the other one that I want to do um, is the Frosty Forest. So I've showed a couple of these um, on previous videos. There are nine total and I bought all nine. Um, the first one is Raccoon's Cabin. Oh, look at that little raccoon sitting by his house. So cute. Ooh, look, oh, okay, I'll turn them like this. Look, there's better. So Raccoon Forest is number one. Uh, Snowy Deer is number two. Love that. So cute. Number three is The Snowman's Cottage. Love him. I know I've shown him before. I think I showed him in maybe in my first video. Um, yep, Snowman's Cottage. Uh, Snowy Friends. A little bunny and a little squirrel. And I've seen people stitch these, um, there's a couple more, but I've seen people stitch these as like one big piece, or some people do them in individual frames. My idea is, right, to have Christmas rules mounted in the way Priscilla does, like magnetically onto, I think, one of those like rustic old looking shutters. And then when Christmas is done, I can take that off and put up my Frosty Forest. And I'm going to do them all like vertically. So... That's my idea. We'll see how it works out. Uh, Bluebird Cabin. Love those two little birds. Like, gonna smooch in front of the front door. So cute. Um, snowy Foxes. And what I should say is each of these have um, buttons. So from just another button company that you can order and put on them too. I don't know if you can see the little buttons. That one looks like it's right at the bottom, like it's a little acorn. Snowy Foxes. So cute. Um, and then Snow Girl's Cottage, and she's got like a little bird button on the fence. Super cute. Ear muffs on. Um, and then Snowy Reindeer. This one's got a snowflake button. Those <laughs> two are so cute. Those antlers. Ah, so cute. Um, and then the last one is like the title guy, and it's Frosty Forest, and the button is the snowman himself. So that's my vision, is that for my two big projects, I'll have mounted on a shutter, the Christmas rules, if I have that done for the house. Well, I have to have it done, right? I said it's got to be done by 2018. So by New Year's Eve 2018, <laughs> this will be done. Um, and so will Frosty Forest, so that I can just swap them out and then keep Frosty Forest up for the winter. So that's number two on the list. Um, number three, Prairie Schooler Santa. Um, I'll show you him in a little bit because he's one of my current whips that I already have. 
um, Winter Wonderland. This is Priscilla and Chelsea just started another sale and they picked such a cute pattern. It's called Winter Wonderland um, by Little House Needleworks and I ordered my pattern. I ordered my threads and fabric from 123 Stitch and I think it's going to be here in like the next couple days, like next week or something. So I love this and mom, I know you're watching. My mom's going to love this because she absolutely adores snowmen. But that broom and the cardinal and the bunnies, I'm so excited. I really think that's a cute piece. So that definitely made my list for, right, I'm going to do the stitch long. This definitely made my list for I want to finish in 2018. Um, winter flip -its. So Lizzie Kate, you guys know, has a bunch of flip -its. So uh, one of my whips, and I'll show you in a couple minutes, is the winter one. The others, so these all made the list. Winter, spring summer and fall and I uh, I just printed this off from down sunshine lane just the pictures of them um, I love these I think these are so cute they're not big but for me I mean for a stitcher like me they take some time so I just love having something to set out on the counter for each season I think that's gonna be a really cute addition to my kitchen um, so four of the slots on my 18 list is for those um, and then Hometown Holidays, the toy store. That's one of my current whips as well. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then the tree lot is another one. Let me go grab that. Hold on, I forgot that too. Back again. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this is by Little House Needleworks, and this is part of that Hometown Holiday series um, that there's 14 for, I believe. And this is chart number 10, the tree lot. So I know you guys have seen this one too. A bunch of people did these. I think Yvonne Night All or Stitcher did this, Priscilla did this, um, and lots of people in their sale too. PC Hometown Holiday Sale are doing this one, but this is one out of the 14 that I just love. I just love. So that made the list for the 18 for 2018. Um, over there. Next is, it's called Easter and it's by Trilogy. And I found this on one, two, three stitch the other day when I was putting it in order. And it's not going to be very big, but I wanted something for Easter. Um, just like I want some summer ones too. I've got the one summer flip it there, but I gotta, I think those last couple slots are going to be for more like 4th of July summery type ones. But this one is adorable. This bunny rabbit is so cute. I absolutely love it. And there's so many colors. There's so many colors in this design. Um, but that bunny or this big chubby belly and the little chicks, I love it. I can't wait to do this one. And it's my first time stitching something from Trilogy. I had not heard of them. Um, but love it. Love this design. So cute. So it made the list. It made number 11 slot. Um, and then the next ones, I'm not going to show you all these. I'll show you, um, I will show you the whip that I currently have. But they're January through December, the Lizzie Kate flip it's with a charm and you'll see when I show you my whips they're smaller um so I kind of grouped them into three so like January through March is one line April through June July through September October through December so that I didn't take up all my slots for 2018 on all those little tiny ones but I have plans I have plans for these I want these to be sitting out um, on my kitchen counter as well so because they're small, I grouped them as three to call them one project finish. Um, but yeah, so I have three more slots. So if you guys have good recommendations, I'm going to be watching your floss tubes, obviously, and your Instagram. But some summery stuff. So like some 4th of July. Um, I think I saw Liberty Lane I loved. Um, Long May She Wave was another one that I liked. So I got to decide on these last three slots. Um, definitely some summery stuff. I've got winter covered. Um, and Halloween, too. I need some Halloween stuff, too. I don't have a Halloween one going on. So that, that'll be for those last three slots. And um, I'm excited. So we'll see if this year, by the end of the year, these 18 pieces that are near and dear to my heart, that I've picked them out as my favorites, um, if I can get them done. So hopefully. All right, next, um, we're going to go over finishes, and I have to go grab something else, so one second. Okay, back again. Wow, so unprepared. Um, completely forgot to bring so many things over here to my desk. So finishes, let's talk finishes. So 
I had my very first fully finished object. Jazz hands, yes, I'm so excited. There was glue in my hair. There was glue on the table. There, uh, yeah, it was not pretty. But thanks to Vanna, I finished this and I was super proud of it. Um, just because, like I said in my first video, all my cross stitches in the past, I just popped them in a frame and never thought of like finishing them into something you could set out as a decoration. And so for me, this was uncharted territory. So I watched Vanna's video again. I got all my supplies. I laid down cardboard so that all the glue that ended up everywhere, including on me, um, <laughs> didn't get too far. So this is, you probably remember it from other videos. It is Halloween Night by Heart and Hand. I first saw this stitched and finished by Priscilla and Chelsea. Um, I think they finished theirs, if I'm trying to remember. I think like one was on a tray that was from a thrift store and one was kind of like a stand-up wood piece. So I bought a wood plaque from Joanne Fabric um, with a coupon. And then I bought um, some fabric and some board. And let me show you what I came up with. So this is my finished. Halloween night, and I love it. I love it. It sits up. Let me just push this down a little. It just sits up on the table, which is nice. Um, I don't have to have it in a stand or anything. Um, and I just followed all you girls and your inspiration. Ooh, this piece is getting crazy. Um, so yeah, so I finished the piece, and then I put it on sticky board. But I put between the sticky board and my piece, I put some of the cotton batting. Um, and then glued it all down on the back. And then I did another board, just sticky board, with this fabric that I got at Joann's. And you guys probably all know this, but for those of you that don't, Joann's has a section where they just sell, like, just small little snips of fabric, like this. So it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be off one of those big gigantic rolls. They just, they're folded up into little squares and they sell them. And so I loved this little fall pattern with the leaves. I thought it matched the colors. Um, and then I got some raffia. Um, I got a package of that and I kind of just tied this into a loose bow and then, you know, did some edging. And then I tied it together with um, a piece of um, burlap. And I found these buttons, these brown wooden buttons and so adorable. And I glued that on this little leaf. And um, if you're interested in these buttons, I'm going to save one for my sister because my sister, Melissa, hi, Melissa, um, has started stitching. I got her to start stitching and she used to be a stitcher years ago as well. And she is starting her first piece in a long time, the 2017 Prairie Schooler. And so we're getting together tomorrow to do some stitching, which I'm super excited about. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna say if she, I gave her this pattern, I gifted her this heart and hand pattern, and so she's going to be stitching this as well. So I'm gonna save one of the buttons for her. But I have four more that came in the pack that I won't use. So if you are interested in one of these wooden buttons, it's just, it's not very bulky, it's just a, just like a cut out wooden leaf button. And if it could help you on one of your projects, let me know. And um, we can, you know, talk and I'll send you, I'll get your address and send you the button so that you can complete it on your project. But yeah, so this is my first fully finished object in a very, very long time. And I just love it. I love how it turned out. It was a great design by heart and hand. And I'm really looking forward to just setting this out on my counter next fall. So yay, that would make me very happy. Um, my next finish I finished this one probably about a week ago, two weeks ago. Uh, and this is by Lizzie Kate. I did it on 28 count tea dyed Monaco. Um, and this is the Ho 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 Holiday from the Jingles. And it's a little Rudolph. I love him. So much fun. This was a quick stitch. Um, I loved the colors in it, like the colors in his scarf. The colors here in the border, so brilliant. It was not hard to follow along to. And I love the touch, the little button for the nose. I just thought that was the cutest little touch. So loved this pattern. It was a ton of fun. Again, I've seen people finish these all, like the jingles, all in one big long piece. Um, I wanted to make an ornament out of this guy. 
So I got him finished, and that's the plan to finish him up. Um, and then I want to show this one again. I believe I showed it in my last video, um, but I realized I had missed some of the pine needles and stuff. So let me just show you this one again. Um, this is Be Merry, Snow and Love. Um, and I believe this is by Little House Needleworks. Again, on the 28 count tea dyed Monaco. Um, this again was such a fun one. Really enjoyed the backstitch that made these pine needles. Um, really enjoyed, you know, these big snowmen, the big blocks of white where you could just stitch away and not have to think too hard. But then the touches like the little cardinal and the shovel, so adorable. So I got this one finished. I'm going to turn this one into an ornament as well. Um, yeah, snow and love. So those were my finishes. Um, and it feels good to be getting some traction, like to be finishing some things because in my very first video, all I had was my finishes from like 2002. So I've done a couple things and it's, it's fun. Okay, let's check the notes. So next I think we're going to go over, yes, whips. So I mentioned earlier on my list that I wanted to do the flip it with charms. I'm going to do them in blocks of three um, for my 2018 list. So the one that I've been working on is January. Uh, again, by Lizzie Kate. Each one comes with a charm. Glare oh, so bad. Each one comes with a charm. I just was really drawn to this. The three little guys, the little charm in the middle. I have plans for how I'm going to finish this. I definitely have plans, but what a fun stitch this was. What a fun chart to stitch. So I've almost got this one done. I just have to finish his nose, uh, fill in the heart, put the charm on, and finish January. So these are, you know, a decent size for me. This is not something I could finish in a night for sure. Um, it was, you know, definitely over a couple evenings of watching movies that I finished this got this almost finished um, and I really enjoy it so I definitely want to do them all I want to do January through December um, and I have an idea of how I'm going to finish them um, so yeah love this one really really enjoying this one and then the next one that I started uh, that I'm working on is the winter the four seasons this again made my list that I talked about, my list of 18 by Lizzie Kate. Um, this is Winter, the Flip It Seasons. There we go. Um, and you guys, the colors in this, Weeks Dye Works colors, um, are so brilliant. They really are. I have enjoyed so much um, working with these colors. They're just beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So the finished size, let's see. Stitch count is 275 by 99. So it's definitely going to be, um, for me, like I said, a decent size for me. I um, got the house completed, which I love. That green, I want to live in a greenhouse like that now. <laughs> um, yeah, and the bird and the door. I mean, the colors are just so beautiful. I have really enjoyed working with these, with these colors. They're just so pretty. Uh, and then this is my new little puffer fish needle minder. Oh my god, so cute. <laughs> um, so that's the other one that I've been working on a lot. And then I have two others. These are old whips that I've shown before. The first one is the Prairie Schooler Santa. And this is the one that my sister also bought this pattern because she saw me doing it. And she is working on this as well. So it's her very first one. She is smoking. She is just stitching like a crazy lady over there. So yeah, so this is where I'm at with this one. Um, I gotta tell you, and, and we both talked about it today, the white is just killing me. Um, stitching the polar bear all the white, wow, I don't know, on my eyes, that's getting tough. <laughs> I love all the colors, but I'm not a huge fan of the white. So all I have left of the white is like this last leg coming over here. I finished the beard, I finished the, the dove, I finished all the rest of the polar bear. I got to fill in his little charms on his necklace, the face and the bag. And then I have that beautiful compass that Cindy gave me. Um, so I just got to get back on this one. I got really, like I said, ADD distracted on these other ones with all the beautiful colors. Um, but yeah, I got to finish him up and he will be done. 
Um, and then my last whip, so I got four whips going currently right now. The last whip that I have not done a thing on is Toy Store. So I showed this one before. It's a super cute design. And the only reason that I've been super lazy and not done anything on it is because I made a big boo-boo. Um, and I showed you guys this last time. But you can see here how one window is abnormally larger than the others. <laughs> It's not by design, so I have to frog that whole top part, and um, I have not been wanting to do that. So that's on the list to get done. It's not, it made the 2018 list. It might get done on New Year's Eve this year, but it will get done. <laughs> the Toy Store. And I have, um, like I said, the tree lot right behind it that I definitely want to do because I do love these patterns, um, and it is part of that sale that I was joining, so I need to get back on this guy for sure. Um, woo, this video is long. I'm already at 30 minutes. Okay, and so the last thing I want to talk about today, um, just to spread the news, is that I bought some new needle minders, and I found two really great new shops. Um, the first is the Creative Palace. They're out of Boise, Idaho, and it's Whitney Schaefer is the owner. Founder on Etsy. Um, and I ordered that donut um, needle minder, which is so adorable, and I ordered one for my sister, and she sent it all packaged super cute with this little freebie thread minder. It's a little, like, popsicle. I think it's a popsicle. And it says, I love you, with a little clip. I just was so impressed by that, and on the paper, oh, the other thing I should say about those these needle minders is, now all the needle minders I've ordered so far, the back is just like a regular magnet. These come with, like, a little jeweled back to them, which is also super cute. So yeah, I thought that was really, really a cool little touch. That donut's adorable. There was tons of them. There was like donut, cupcake, um, popsicle, all kinds of cute stuff. But then she also sent in the receipt, she sent this little note and it said, thank you for your first purchase from us. Happy 2018 from Whitney. So thank you so much, Whitney. I think that's really, really cool that, you know, there's so many talented creative people out there, artists and crafters. And so I try to support that community through Etsy whenever I can. Um, and how cool. So if you guys are looking for a needle minder, check out the Creative Palace because she had a lot of different stuff to offer. Um, and then the other needle minders that I got, which I loved. <laughs> So again, Cindy, you're going to freak out when you see this. Um, I searched high and low for a Snoopy. And I found him. So adorable. Sleeping Snoopy. And then I also got for my uh, stitchy sister, who is getting into this. I wanted to get her a couple needle minders to get started. So I got her the donut. And then she is a Harry Potter fan. So I got her this nine and three quarters platform uh, needle minder. So I think she's going to like it. And what's uh, awesome about this shop is I did not order this little heart here, but they sent it to me free for being my first order. And I thought that was such a nice touch. I mean, you know, that's expensive for these guys to be sending that out. And I, I just really appreciated this. So this, this store was called Mad for Minders, also on Etsy. Um, and it shipped out of California. And uh, again, she said... Like in handwriting, thank you. So sweet. So sweet. I just thought that was so nice. So if you're looking for needle minders, check out those two shops. I wanted to recommend them uh, because of the great service and because they're fellow crafters like us who are just, you know, trying to sell some of their stuff. So I think that was about it for today. I think this is officially my longest floss tube ever, 33 minutes. But um, again, I just want to say thank you to all of you who take the time to put comments um, on my YouTube. It is super intimidating, you know, even sitting here filming this now, you're looking at yourself like, oh boy. Um, but we do it because we like the community and we wanna connect with the community and we wanna make new friends and um, hear from people and their thoughts. And, and you link up with different Facebook groups and different Instagram accounts. and. It's really been a fun experience and it's really taken a craft that I love and made it into something that has just become a really big part of my life. So I'm really grateful for it. All your comments are so sweet. I've met nothing but thoughtful, nice people in this process and um, 
And yeah, so I really appreciate it. Keep up the videos and I hope to see you guys again soon. Stay warm and make it 2000 great teen, like my friend said. <laughs> I love that saying. I know it's super cheesy, but it's very positive and we all need positive vibes. So until next time, guys, bye.